here today with the Broken Dayton art machine. Uh, I'm going to ask you, Broken Dayton, who are you guys? Nick? Well, we're, we're an art collective. Uh, we founded in a weird little bar uh, three years ago now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and we uh, decided we wanted to show nationally and bring our message of art to the universe. Right now, we're made up of myself, Nicholas Arnold, Frank Travers, Philip Evans, Ian yeah. Breidenbach, and Ashley Jonas, and Rin Cummings. Oh. Um, speaking of your message, what is it that you guys do? We're, um, we're trying to bring a, a message of sort of cultural change and betterment through art, uh, sort of in the best way we can. So we we started in Dayton, which has been on the, the list of top five uh, top five sort of most distressed cities in the country um, for the past decade or so. And uh, now we're coming to places like Williamsport and Braddock, Pennsylvania. Um, and just bringing, you know, sort of trying to make those places, uh, raise them up as much as we can through the things that we can do. Good, and you guys have done a good job of that. Excellent response here at the Gray Art Gallery in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Um, what do you think your plan is for the future? Uh, we have uh, quite a few shows lined up. Um, we're going to do a show of like 16 to 20 uh, solo mobile art shows. Um, you know, more of these video spectacles as well. Uh, we think that really you know, draws in a great crowd and like it shows them something that they may not have seen where they're at. Uh, I don't know, it's like we would rather take New York-ish stuff to everyone else as opposed to going to New York and yeah. doing that. That's what we try to do here at the Grand yeah. Hour Gallery. And speaking of your uh, video work, what do your videos uh, bring to the work? Well, in uh, a place like Williamsport, that's a lot of a lot of what's going on in, uh, in any small town is is facial recognition. You know, you see people on the street, you know who they are, uh, and then you see their art. And you know, as as people coming in from out of town, uh, not a lot of people are going to know who Nick Arnold or Ian Breidenbach, Phil Evans, Frank Travers. They're not going to know those people, but. When you put your face on the side of a building in a town like this, uh, it really turns you, heads you're off. sort of getting that that facial recognition. You're giving yourself a, something sort of to a, talk about. Yeah. A boost we, in we that like direction. like getting close with others. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about. I agree. Yeah. Um, so, what makes this show better than nothing so great? I think all of us coming together and just being here being something to see, having uh, the amount of artists that we have in the show, having the Gray Gallery and everyone help us with their artists and just bring the whole thing together. Just it's a huge spectacle of art, videos. It's just something... You can't find you, variety you, like this in many you, shows. You can't see this spectrum of art. You can't see so much. And I have to say, there's a lot of good stuff right now mm -hmm. in the gallery downstairs. Well, yeah, we've, we've got a range of artworks and artists, you know, spanning 30 years mm -hmm. in a variety of styles. I mean, we've got new media, we've got printmaking, etchings, charcoal drawings from Rick Poole. Performance. Performance art. Mm -hmm. You know, you really, there's there's not a lot of uh, sort of mediums that are lacking in this show. Yeah. Uh, as far as Williamsport's uh, concerned, what has been your experience with the Williamsport art scene, or, or yeah, let's we'll start with that question. The Williamsport art scene. What's the your experience here so far? Just as a town, speaking in general, I've had a wonderful time. The scene, walking around the uh, buildings and everything, like meeting the people. Everyone's real friendly. People seem to want to show work. They seem to want to have it in the area for people to look at. There's a, I mean, you get stuff being carried around everywhere. I seen people, I think I saw some people including some art in a bunch of places if you're just walking around. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's definitely an interest. I th a very, very big interest. I think you've, you've also got, you've got, I mean, the contemporary space of the Grey Gallery. You've got, at the same time, you've got, like, uh, the 
Jer Jeremiah Johnson factor and the artist. Yeah, the pajama factory. Yeah, yeah that played a major role in the uh, the art scene growing out here. Well, you know, that's yeah, yeah. I mean, if it weren't for, I, I guess it's you know, it's the Public Art Academy at the Pajama Factory um, at the time but mm -hmm. that brought me here, which has sort of been the impetus for the rest of us to be here. Yeah, I mean, as a matter of fact, Phil, you and me really originally wouldn't have met if it wasn't for the Public Art Academy. Yeah, of course. Um, and the Artists in Residence program bringing you here. Hmm. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's sort of getting people together in that way. And it seems like a lot of people in Williamsport are, are getting excited. I mean, I, you know, I, I was explaining our uh, message, you know, the Broken Dayton mission statement to, uh, to some people earlier. And, and they seem to be on the same page. You know, they were really excited about sort of growing Williamsport through the arts. I, I think that, like, just the fact that this is happening right now is, like, interesting. It's like, this could possibly happen again. Like, once you open, like, the floodgates of, like, what you can possibly do in a town like this, that, yeah, that's really important. Yeah. You guys, uh, in your stay here, we've been here for about four or five days now. Any funny stories? Any, um... Anything happen in the last few days, Nick? <laughs> we, we crashed a party at one point. We did crash a party, yeah. Oh, we crashed a party. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was pretty interesting. Tell us, please. Well, there's a large man named Uncle there. His name's Uncle. Yes. I do. I have his driver's license photograph. It's oh, true. What's it's, true. it's true. I, I have a large man named Uncle. Um, and I'm an out-of-towner. I obviously did not fit in at this party. My name did involve a relative, and we're junior. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was it was pretty cool because like I found like the town kind of had open arms, or even just a random stranger jumped in. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, actually they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we we didn't get mm -hmm. that. That story stands in stark. <laughs> that story stands in stark contrast to our uh, first experience as a group in a uh, un an unnamed, we'll leave it unnamed. Local business. Where we were mistaken for high school. Where we were mistaken first for high school, uh, high school children, <laughs> and uh, secondly refused service uh, based on our selection of tables. Danny's, <laughs> Danny's hot dogs, though. Oh. Dump truck hot dog is probably the most amazing hot dog I've ever had the opportunity. So to shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Danny's hot dog. Danny's hot dogs. Dog house. Danny's dog house. Danny's dog house. There we go. Mm, alabaster coffee. Alabaster uh, coffee. Uh, we just shout outs to uh, you know, I want to shout out to all my peeps at home as well while we're doing Your peeps shout outs. Oh. Shout out to my peeps. Uh, hi mom. Okay. I love you. Do we have anything else uh, you would like to add to this video interview before we come to a close? Uh I wanted to thank you. This has been an awesome opportunity. Yeah, and one of the first things we've been able to yeah. Casey the John, something uh, like this. Yeah. John Yovinsky, uh I, I guess, didn't want to participate in this interview. I John, yeah, John he uh, just always nah. disappears. He seems John a little close-minded, if you were I know, to ask he's me. a little close-minded. Yeah. John Yorgosinski is the man behind the music. <laughs> he is. And the video. Yeah. And the video. He's, uh, he's well, how's that song go? <laughs> no, first of all, now we're going to shout out. I'm going to shout out to Oprah on this. I don't get sued. But, uh... <laughs> John Yogazinski, John Yogazinski, John Yogazinski, John Yogazinski, and that's it.